Hello, 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 welcome back to another episode of Macho Brandless Podcast. I am your host, Shaq, aka Groovy Shaq, or Shaq Films. <laughs> um, I think episode 5, I think this is episode 5, wow, look at us, episode 5 already. Um, so this podcast, I'm going to be talking about me trying to find uh, a second job, uh, just trying to like, you know, save up and secure my money and everything just so I can you know, I can afford, uh, I can afford the things that I want to be doing, doing, I can afford the things that needs to be paid off and everything like that, so, yes, um, hold up, before we start, before we, uh, start that, I'm gonna have a little sip of my tea, it's very hot, oh, actually, it's okay, I thought it was gonna be hotter than I expected, um, yes, yeah, so, I have been trying to look for a second job um, just you know to just money purposes and basically just like trying to save up and shit like that um, it's actually harder than I thought you know trying to look for jobs it's just it's just really really fucking hard to like, just look for jobs period um, I so I work at Hype at the moment um, in Shell Harbor which is 30 minutes away from where I live, or oh, around like 20, 20 minutes, 20, 30 minutes, depending on traffic. Um, so I used to work at Seoul Origin in Shell Harbor as well in the food court. And um, one thing that's good about that is they pay weekly, which is, you know, amazing. And I can, uh, therefore, what what's it called? I can like um, take care of my money, you know, um, getting paid fortnightly, it's, so much harder to i guess to like be aware of your money and everything um so so yes that's what i'm to that what that's what i was trying to do and um i so recently soul origin they have a new owner a new boss and everything and by this time i sort of like quit the old soul origin crew and um, I just kind of just concentrated on, on hype and, and uni and everything. But then I was just like, oh, I think I'm going to go back. Because, like, I've been working as a barista for, like, nearly five years. And I love making coffee. You know, I love coffee. And I missed making it. So, at the back of my mind, one of the reasons why I wanted to go back is because I, um, I know some of the workers that used to work there. And, you know, they can always put in a good word for me for the new boss. And I miss making coffees, man. So uh, I asked the boss. And then the first thing she said, you know, I said, like, yeah, I got experience and everything. I would love to join your crew if there's any position available. She's like, yeah, sure. I'll try my best to fit you in. Uh, because they just hired a new person. And the day that was needed was uh, for me, for them, for me. Wait, the, let, let, me, let me say that again. The day that I was needed was just Wednesdays and Sundays. And I was like, all right, cool. I can make that work. So for the first two weeks of... Oh, I should probably... Sorry, I keep forgetting to like silent my devices when I'm recording a podcast. Um, so like the first... The first two weeks of me working at the... At Soul Origin with the new crew... Um, it was going good. I was working Wednesday, Thursday, Sundays, and it was amazing. And I just loved it. You know, I got money. I got paid. I was just like, oh yay! I'm getting paid weekly and then fortnightly as well for hype. So like, I can manage my my money um, better. You know, and um, there was one, and I thought it was going well. I thought it was going amazing. You know. Uh, compliments was just like oh like compliments from the customers and everything which is I don't want to get all egotistical or put it to anyone's head but it was a good compliment um, and there was one day where you know this 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 week where my my uncle passed away um, and the next day I totally forgot that I had work because I was so occupied being with my family and just trying to be okay mentally as well and because for the last that last shift that i was before before my uncle passed away the last shift 
um, I said to my, to my boss, I was like, hey, so I'll see you on the Thursday, right? Not Wednesday. And she's like, yeah, yeah, I'll see you on Thursday. I was like, okay, dope. And then I got that text that next day after my uncle passed away. She's like, hey, man, where are you? You're supposed to start at 11. And I was just, you know, with my family. And I was like, oh, shit, uh, am I working today? And she sent me a message saying that, like, yeah, I'm working today and shit like that. And I'm just like, oh, sorry, like, I should have um, asked you again. And I just completely forgot about it. And she's like, oh, you can come later if you want. And I said, no, I actually can't. Like, I'm with my family. And, she, and then, obviously, like, I got the tone that she was pissed. And um, and then she's like, no, like, what happened? Like, I, and I just said, I, like, I said, I just I can't make it. Like, I, I really can't make it. And she's like, oh, wow, what, what's, what's happening? I didn't want to tell anyone. And I said, like, oh, uh one of my family members, um, you know, had a heart attack and blah, blah, blah. And then she didn't reply to me for, like, that whole day. And then towards the end, around, like, 7 p.m. or something like that, she replied, oh, okay, sorry about that. And then the next day, on that Thursday, I rocked up. And she's like, oh, so, like, how's everything? And I was like, to be honest, it's, like, it's not that great. Um, like, I'm not really here, like, mentally, but I'll try, you know, be a professional and do my job. And she's like, oh, you know, like, that heart attack, like, I'm sure we'll be fine. And I was like, no, um, like, my uncle died. And she's like, oh, oh, shit, okay, wow, damn, sorry about that. I was like, man, it's not your fault. And for, like, the whole entire shift, the rest of the shift that I was working, she didn't, like, speak to me for the whole time. And, like, because I was just so distracted with something else that I didn't care. I'm just like, alright, like, you do whatever. If you're pissed at me, like, I'm sorry. But I have so much more things to concentrate on. And, um, yeah, she just, like, completely ignored me and whatever. And I thought I was supposed to be working that Sunday um, in, in that week. But I didn't get any messages. And I messaged her, but she didn't say anything. And I was like, oh, okay, cool, whatever. And, um, sorry, I just... I had a sip of my tea. Oh, that's hot. And um, that next week, I messaged her. I was just like, hey, so are we all good with the shifts? Like, Wednesday and Thursday again. And I thought that my days were just allocated as Wednesday and Thursdays. And she, I, I didn't get a reply from her. And it was on that day. You know, like that day on that Wednesday. Um... I wasn't at work or anything because I didn't get any confirmation with her and so I did my own thing and then the one of the baristas she messaged me she's like hey Shaq I'm not feeling that great I was wondering if you can come in a bit earlier and um and take over my shift because I'm just like feeling just super ill and I was like oh hey I can't make it because I'm in Sydney at the moment doing like a photo shoot and she's like oh really i was like yeah well the boss didn't i messaged the boss but i didn't get any reply back she's like oh shit well she said that you're working today and i was like no there's just that's just no communication between me and her at the moment and i said this to the barista and she's like oh what the heck this is so weird and i'm just like yo like i'm i am so sorry i would be there but i'm just in sydney you know doing a photo shoot i continued on with my plan because my, my plans because i didn't want to you know, wait around and shit like that. She's like, oh, no, no, like, it's all good. I'll find someone else. I'm like, yeah, I'm so sorry. She's like, oh, it's all good. But luckily, the rest of the crew is just, well, the crew that I was with, that I have spoken to, they're just, you know, absolutely super kind human beings. And um, it was just like this, like, weird-ass miscommunication between me and the boss. And I don't know what the fuck is happening. And it's weird because, like, I'll message her, she wouldn't reply, but then she'll reply straight away at, like, the group message, and I am put in the group message. And, like, if she doesn't want me to be there, if she doesn't want me to work, like, just kick me out of the group. Like, I'm, I'm, to be honest, man, I'm just so, like, fucking confused with this whole entire thing. And so, um, yeah, so there was, like, no communication between me and her, and then she would reply to me. Like, I, I message her again, like, I have to message her twice, and then she, she will reply to me, and, I don't know, just say some, like, dumbass thing, I have no idea. I don't know, it just, like, it just doesn't make sense for what she, what she was saying, and I'm just like, alright, cool. And I was at, I was at Hype, I was working at Hype, and I messaged her. 
I was like, hey, so this is my availabilities. I don't know where you got my message, but yeah, here's my availabilities. Hopefully I can work for you guys again. Cause you know, like I just miss making coffee and I love working for you guys. And um, she messaged me like straight away. She's just like, hey Shaq, so yeah, I got the message, but I didn't know that your days was gonna be changed because I thought that you're free on Wednesday and Sundays and blah, 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 blah. And I like, I said to her, I was like, oh, I don't know because my like Sundays changes because like depending on how well I'm doing at Hype, it changes like weekly and um but i'm i'm usually free on wednesdays i'm always free on wednesdays and um and then i just said like i just said i if i don't get any confirmation on what days that i'm working with working at um i can't sit around and and wait for you guys or wait for you to message me like hey can you come into work like i don't want to be like that those on call kind of employees you know um, if nothing is confirmed, I'm going to be making my own plans. So, yeah, so that's what I've been doing. I'm just like be making my own plans because there's no confirmation whatsoever about, about working with them again. And I'm just like, what? Like, I, I was just hella confused. And she just replied me with a thumbs up. And I'm just like, oh my God, like for real? Like, you're going to reply me? Like, one of my, one of my pet peeves is like when you try to talk to someone or you're trying to like do something and then they just reply with like a thumbs up and i'm just like yo can you like stop that shit like give me give me words bro give me words but i'm just like super confused with the whole entire entire thing and like okay look i do apologize that if, if i'm in the wrong i i do apologize and i'm sorry that i didn't rock up to that that one day because something was just happening with my family and i i i literally c could not go anywhere i gotta be with them i want to be with them um if she's pissed about that like i just wish i just okay look when you're alive and if people take you off or if you don't um you know you don't agree with someone's attitude or or their decision making honestly straight up say to them like hey you did this and it made me feel this and that like no point in hiding what you're feeling um and kind of just like ignore the person like are you 12 15 years old no you're not like you're an adult you know treat me like an adult treat me like a professional don't treat me like I'm one of your high school friends and just like ignore me. Like, I don't know what I did wrong. How am I supposed to learn? How am I supposed to learn for, for the things that I did wrong and you didn't tell me that I did it wrong. So how would I know? So yeah, like I, I was just hella confused. You know, I still am hella confused. I'm not entirely sure what is happening. And um, I feel like I, I, I do want to say to her, like, hey, like, if I stepped on your toes and all this kind of stuff, like, I, I do apologize, you know, but I don't want to suck up to anyone. I don't want to suck up to, I don't know. I just want my work to validate how, uh, how good of a worker I am. If that makes sense. I don't want to suck up to anyone just so they can give me, like, just so they can give me what I want, if that makes sense. Because, like, sucking up is not cool at all, you know? Like, if you want to, if you want to, like, do something, you, sh like, someone should see your worth, you know? And for that two weeks that I was working with the new crew in Seoul Origin, um, I thought I showed my worth, you know, and I thought that I was doing good. I thought I was doing well, you know, and then, I don't know, it just kind of put me down a little bit because I'm just like, all right, cool, well, I don't have any, like, I thought this was, like, a secure, sec secure second job, but I feel like it's not, and therefore, it just makes me wonder, like, damn, 
what did I do wrong as a worker? Like, I wish the boss straight up said it, say it to me, you know? The one thing that I love about hype is that we all get along all together, all super well. And I love my, my hype work teammates. I really love them. And like, they even they know if you're not feeling mentally well on that day, straight up call a message and be like, hey, like, I'm not feeling well. Like, can can someone else, you know, cover for me, cover for me. And, you know, they would, like, if you rock up to work as well, like, they would send you home and be like, hey, take as much time as you need and, and you know, be okay mentally. Or, like, if there, if there is a death in the family, be with them and make sure that you're okay as well because we don't want you to work and you're going to be, like, all kind of, you know, sad and stuff like that. You know, and for for that reason, I love working at Hype, and I love the Hype crew in Shell Harbor. Like they're legit my extended family. And I don't know. I I guess what I'm trying to say is that when you're alive, be um, let the people let let the people know how you're feeling, how they make you feel. You know, I don't know. May, maybe me. I'm just like one of that person. Um, I'm one of those people who's just like, I'm going to let you know the way you're treating me, what you did to me. I will let you know, like, how I feel. Be like, hey, if you did you did this and this, like, it makes me feel a little bit shitty or it makes me feel a bit like, I don't know. I, I hope that makes sense. I really hope that makes sense. And I'm going on like a freaking on, on a bloody rant. I'm going to sip on my tea because that's the tea. <laughs> Mm. But um yeah that's that's just been like like work stuff. You know? Uh work is I don't know, I guess like it just feels like a whole competition lately. Um even you know, even at even working at hype at the moment, um I just feel like everything is a com like okay, I'm I'm not gonna categorize hype. I'm just going to put, I guess, every, every store, every store. Um, you know, I just feel like working feels like a competition for everyone. And like, you got to, obviously, yeah, you make your target and stuff like that. But I feel like when you're working, it doesn't need to be a competition. Why can't you just sell the products that you love, that you're passionate about? And that will, that will make like a statement to the customer, you know, because you're just like, fuck, like the, the employees over here, they give a fuck what they're doing. And therefore it makes me care because they give a fuck. I mean, that's, that's as, as like me personally, that's what I think, you know. And um, I don't know, just like everything has just been all about competitions lately. Like even at Hype, they'll be like, oh, if you guys sell like, a hundred add-ons, you know, that's like socks and shoelaces and shoe care. Um, in a day, uh, we will send you free donuts and all this kind of stuff. And then, I don't know, in my head, I'm just like, well, if you're thinking of sending us donuts, why don't you just send us donuts? You know, don't, don't need to be like a competition out of everything. You know, like everything, it just feels like a competition who can like sell the most uh nikes or who can sell the most vans and all this kind of stuff and it's like bro i'm just gonna sell the shoes that the customer want and i'm just gonna sell the shoes because i'm passionate about about this stuff like uh, i am a sneakerhead so therefore you know I'm, I'm passionate about this kind of uh stuff and this kind of work line as well and i just I just don't want work to feel like a competition every time I walk in, you know. And then you put, like, a certain pressure on the store. You put, like, a certain pressure on everyone. And if you don't make anything, if you don't make whatever so-and-so, it just makes you, makes everyone feel shitty, obviously, you know. Like, what I like is, is or what I guess what we should just focus on is just make the target and that's it, you know, no pressure, 
sell the shit that you're passionate about and I'm sure that will like make a statement for the customer you know um, and you know just I guess everything just I don't know like I said everything just like a whole competition and I guess I just don't fuck with it like just this whole competition I don't know I guess that's just me <laughs> I hope I'm not like pissing anyone off with saying this like if I am please do say that I'm pissing you off with what, I, with what I'm saying you know because I want to know how other people are feeling as well you know just not my own feeling you know <laughs> oh jeez um on a brighter note the sun is slowly picking out right now and I am loving it it's been very overcast day for like the last three days and um it's been raining as well i guess that was needed because just you know for the environment for the trees and the plants and everything and um but you know the the sun is slowly we're very low-key picking out and i'm loving it um other than that i think you know like my family has like is slowly being okay slowly recovering from the shockness that uh that happened you know within my family uh we're yeah we're very slowly recovering which is good and um usually these times when when um recovering kind of stuff you know i will ask like my family we're all muslims and so we we go back into into the religion faith you know we 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 we'll concentrate more on like our islamic faith and you know try to be with god and so so we can continue with our lives and move on you know um because i know for a fact that you know like i believe in the afterlife um so i know for a fact that my uncle is definitely in a better place you know and i'm sure that he'll meet his he'll meet his dad and um yeah uh it's still a very sensitive and and sad sad subject to be talking about you know but um yeah we're slowly recovering we're, we're okay you know slowly getting there but i guess it's it's good that that because my mom and dad they flew out and um visited my 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 relatives from my dad's side i just had a my i just had like a mind blank <laughs> Apolog i apologize but yeah they visited my my dad's side and i guess that was needed for them you know to be there uh, with each other and um i'm here you know um taking care trying to take care of my brother and my sister but i feel like my brother has been taking care of me and and my sister, uh, he's been like the strong one um, at the moment because like me being me, I'm very emotional, you know, and I try to be intact with my emotions. And he knows that like when things are rough, he, uh, like he'll just let me have my space and slowly talk to me, you know, slowly. But like he will just make me have my space and he's still like he's still there for me. But yeah, he's the stronger one definitely he is definitely the strong strongest one in among the siblings with like trying to be okay <laughs> but um yeah and i'm super grateful for that you know but uh yeah other than that man i've been trying to get back into my photography stuff as well you know trying to like booking clients and just trying to book like photo shoots and stuff just so I can like experience myself um I want people to I guess okay that's very egotistic is egotistical for me to say I want people to I just want to share my work um I just want to share the work that I'm doing you know and um yeah just further experience my shit as well so yeah, trying to be like a freelance photographer is sometimes hard. <laughs> you because I don't know. I guess if you start thinking about the money, it's just it ruins everything and it just makes you so sad. 
but you know the things that you're doing you should be super passionate about it that you shouldn't even be thinking about money you know and um that's the T. <laughs> Ah, man, I am feeling very parched these days. Oh, man, so, like, what else? I guess that's just, that's just it, really, hey. Just, I just, you know, rented out about the whole shit that, that's happening at work. <laughs> um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it for this podcast. Wow, it felt very fast. <laughs> felt very, very fast. But anyway, um, on that note, I guess that is that is the end of episode 5 of Much Browner's podcast. I want to say thank you so much for those of you who's listening and taking your time into listening to this episode and also taking your time to like, you know, going through my channel and shit like that too. I really do appreciate that. Um, and yeah, all right. Uh, take care of one another. Take care of yourselves. Be kind to one another. And... Um, Yeah, take it easy. Alright, peace.